the captains of Crush Grip Trainers by Iron Mind. The notorious original Grip Ladder Challenge, popularized and tried by many of the strongest in the world, ranging from their guide with 60 pounds of resistance all the way up to their number four with approximately 365 pounds of smoldering grip strength resistance. Now apparently if done correctly, training with these devices every single day is actually the best way to put on massive amounts of grip strength in the shortest amount of time possible. Well I wanted to see if this were true for me. This is what happened. But you gotta focus. So obviously I'm gonna want to try to not do too much but not do too little. I need to find that sweet spot so that every day I'm putting on strength, but I'm gonna start with the five by five. So let's do it. Now you may be thinking, won't training every day actually lead to a compound of too much stress and not be productive? While this certainly can be true, especially when volume and intensity are high every single day, my approach to these grippers on a daily basis was going to be consisting of some days with higher intensity and other days of just greasing the groove. A term referring to practicing a technique on a frequent basis, but not to a level of severe exhaustion in order to train and align the central nervous system with the goal. Now fresh on day one, after warming up with the Sport and the 0.5, I felt fresh enough to attempt a 5x5 with the 1.5. So that is five full closes with each hand, two minutes of rest, doing this for five total sets. Now ideally in a five by five, you want to try to pick a weight or resistance where towards that fifth rep, it is taking a decent amount of effort and towards that fifth set on the last rep, it is near failure. Now when I got midway through the fourth set, I could not do any more successful reps with the 1.5, so I had to back all the way down to the 0.5 to finish this 5x5. Five five. That's it. I'm done for the day. I don't want to overdo it. It's like I could, oh, do like a drop set and like drop down, do like 10 reps, 100 reps with this, 10 reps with that, da 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 But training this every day. But it's not over for the working out today. I'm actually planning to go get a workout right now at the gym. So I'm gonna go do that. Hopefully it doesn't take away from the grip training. I don't think it will. Maybe the grip training will take away from the workout. We'll see. So the workout focusing on upper body actually felt subpar. It felt like my grip was slipping and I also felt a bit shaky with each movement. So ideally maybe I would save the grip training for the end of the workout, but because that was my primary goal, I was actually happy I did it first so the workout didn't take away from the grip training. Day two updates, hands feel a little sore, like right in this area right here, only about a two out of 10 if I'm gonna be honest with you. So nothing much and I feel ready to grip so I think I'm doing things right because I'm not overdoing it. So I'm gonna warm up with the sport and the .5 and then go into my workout. Today what I'm planning to do is triple. So I'm gonna do three to five sets of three holds and I'm gonna try to make each hold 10 seconds and I'm going to use the 1.5. So after a brisk warm up with the lighter grippers, hopping into the meat of the workout, which was simply just squeezing and holding for time, the heavier gripper. And I tried to hit 10 seconds with each hand for three reps each hand, but I ended up changing that because it was way too much. I think I'm actually gonna adjust that and do one rep each side, but maybe like five total reps, so. So with the 10 second hold on each hand, I was only able to do three total sets of one rep each hand before totally exhausting my grip. <gasps> that was an absolute failure. Oh man, left side is significantly weaker than my right. I'm cutting that after three sets of only one rep each because yeah, I'm, I'm feeling it now. So I'm just gonna pull down with uh, 20 closes with the support, which has 80 pounds resistance. I did feel like my grip was a little bit more intense today. So that's a good sign we're on the right track. After training the grippers off to the gym to train legs, where I didn't notice as much of a takeaway as I did for training arms the previous day, but still there was a bit of how you say central nervous system fatigue and any exercise where I did have to use my grip, obviously, I felt a little more tired in the hands than normal. 
what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna do some assisted squeezes. So I'm gonna actually push this up against my leg all the way down and then pull it away and try to hold it down in the position for as long as I can. I'm gonna start with the one, go to the 1.5 and then even go to the two today. So we're gonna go all the way up to hopefully our goal at the end of this. And I'm literally just gonna try to hold it in the closed position for up to 10 seconds. So after a warm up on day three, starting with an assisted squeeze and then a free hold for 10 seconds with the one at first, then the 1.5 and then working all the way up to the two. Let me make a short story long the two at approximately 195 pounds of grip resistance not the hardest in the world but for me i have actually had the two since 2015 and have not been yet to successfully close it with one hand in fact, my friend Logan and I have a rolling bet between us both. Whoever can successfully close the two first will be the proud winner of a crisp $20 bill. Now this may have been partially a reason for this zealous training session, trying to hold the two down even after an assisted squeeze, but I've gotta be honest, I didn't even feel close. <sighs> I should be stronger than that, I feel like. It's like my bench, it's like my squat. It's like everything except for my deadlift. 405 isn't even that crazy on the deadlift. I'm not trying to say I'm like some kind of deadlift savant. I'm just saying it's, when it comes to my all my lifts, it's abnormally stronger than the other ones. So really feeling the two even assisted against the leg, I decided to back back down to 1.5 for a hold for time on each hand. Only four total working sets, including the failed two attempt, and then I cooled it back down with some reversed or upside down squeezes with the sport just to kind of change up the feeling of the grip in the hand. stupid enough bowling out of all things seemed to wreck my fingers so bad that for day four I decided not to go heavy but to just grease the groove randomly throughout the entire day using the sport whenever I felt the need to squeeze I would squeeze about 10 reps each hand doing anywhere from about a total of 50 to 70 reps for each hand by the end of the night all right right now I'm pretty excited because I feel like my grip is like snappy and powerful. I'm actually kind of surprised because I did a lot of volume yesterday just kind of throughout the day with the sport, but I didn't go heavier than the sport. And maybe that had something to do with uh, greasing the groove and um, just allowing me to feel like I have way more power today. So anyways, it looks like it's a beautiful day out. So I'm gonna go to the park, train some calisthenics, and then during the calisthenics workout, I am going to do a five by five. At least that's my plan to work on the strength once again today, I feel like I could take a swing at this too right now. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. Either. On day five before training grip, I trained some basic calisthenics, nothing special, just maintenance, as my main goal this week was to crush the captains of crush, hopefully 2.0 by the end of this challenge. Now, when it came to the five by five with the 1.5, I felt strong. It actually felt like training these grippers every day in the manner I was doing was finally working for strength. Hands down feeling stronger. I am actually getting hopeful that we might be able to close the two and most importantly before Logan. <laughs> Sucker. And on day five, successfully completing the five by five with the 1.5, proving to myself that I made improvements since day one. Hands feeling a little bit beat up, but other than that, grip feeling strong. All right, so why the stringer working at the computer? I thought it completed the look, okay? Anyways, because yesterday was such a success, I feel like an approach that's actually probably gonna work the best for me for the rest of this challenge is to do one day with like a more intense grip training day and then the next day more of like a greasing the groove grip training day like I did on day four where I just took the sport whenever I'm kind of feeling the need to squeeze squeeze out five to ten reps like don't go to anything towards failure just remind myself what my grip needs to do to just keep developing this pathway to make it as amped up as possible hopefully in the shortest amount of time possible relative for me it would be insane to close it too and I'm hoping Tomorrow could be the day. So like I just said, the plan was going to be just to grease the groove on day six. However, when going to the basement and working on a deadlift session, after warming up to a few heavier deadlifts, I felt a sudden burst of this like central nervous system energy. 
and I thought it would be unstrategic not to attempt to close the two. All right, I don't have time to explain, but we're going for it. Ah. Oh, so close. One more attempt with this one. Oh, dang it. And what I thought was just going to be one attempt led me to attempt after attempt after attempt to an entire unorganized Captains of Crush gripper workout in between sets of just goofing off. I do have to say though that my grip did feel the strongest it has in perhaps forever, and I felt like I had great endurance when it comes to producing the same amount of grip strength every time on these grippers. Oh, so close! Feeling so close to closing the two on day six, but being exhausted from the sheer amount of attempts, I decided to extend this experiment for more than one week. And actually taking day seven, eight, and nine as pure greasing the groove days to hopefully fully recharge my central nervous system for one final attempt on day 10. I was so confident I was going to close the two, but could I do it? On day six, right after doing a heavy deadlift, I felt like my central nervous system was amped all the way up and I was able to grip even more. So on day 10, I decided to use this same technique to hopefully finally close the two. Yeah, so somebody left residue of their chalk. Hopefully that's chalk and not like- Either way. Either way. And then to make matters worse, later that day I found out some news. Go through the group chat, it's in there, he closed it. There's two videos, he closed it with both hands. Dang, he did do it. <laughs> No. All right, what's up everybody? So I took yesterday off and today, which would be day 12, I attempted the two once again. I feel like I got closer than ever, but I still didn't fully close it. So did I actually make improvements training Captains of Crush every single day? In my opinion, I actually did. Looking at the before compared to day 10 results, when it comes to my attempt at the two, it almost doesn't look like I've made any improvement, but I looked really closely and I swear, it's like a micrometer better. Now undoubtedly, when looking at today trying to close the two, I definitely, definitely was closer than the beginning of this experiment. So maybe that extra rest day helped. With that being said, real quick, I gotta be a good sport. Shout out to Logan for closing the two before I did. I've been saving this on my money clip. This was the only money on my money clip. It's real. So I wanna ask you guys for advice. What is your experience with Captains of Crush building that brute grip strength? What method do you think works the best? I did search up a lot of different methods and you know, there's some that say train twice a week, three times a week, but I didn't think that'd be any fun. And I also did hear that training every single day is actually one of the best ways to put on strength for this. Maybe I did it wrong though. So let me know your take in the comments. What do you guys think? What worked for you? Which one of these can you guys close maximally? So with that being said, I am gonna close this video here, but I'm not gonna quit trying to attempt to close the two. And when I finally get it, I will post a whole separate video, probably just be a celebration video. And I, I feel like it's it's been a long time coming for something that I've been trying to get for so long to finally achieve, even if it's just closing a gripper. I know that's not like, at least to me, not like landing like a double cork or something like that. Regardless, to me, it would still be a huge deal. I've had that too in my bag since like 2015. So if you guys have any advice for me, I always appreciate that. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope this video was entertaining for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, more videos coming out. Hope you all have a great day. Peace, I will see you all in the next video.